And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some Dying Light 2 campaign. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the support button. Really enjoying this series. Finally figured out that we need to meet Joss at night and also uh, some dialogue for the main quest popped up. So make sure you tune into that as soon as we lift the screen here. Anyways, let's get into playing some Dying Light 2. Join us. Roger. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly. Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dark started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So, you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. <coughs> the whole district is powered by an electrical substation. I was going to send a squad to turn it on, but I heard you already did that. Good job, kid. Too bad you handed it over to the civilians. We could have used it. Doesn't matter now, Ro. At least we don't have to worry about electricity anymore. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Ro. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass. They're waiting on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off. Oh, imagine all the grieving tonsils. Shut up. Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Then you wonder where all the guns went, right? Aiden? Army sees. I heard Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Whenever Matt walks into the canteen, Juan gets up and leaves. Seriously, this schoolboy feud isn't helping anyone. Why are you just standing there? Some days, I wonder. Why were you just standing there? Sometimes I venture out the street. 
used to look at the shops and signs from before the fall. Don't know why, but they fascinate me. Oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Ro Meyer? They're solid. But Jack and Juan? They're destined to stab you in the back. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Sorry, Luan, but Jack will dig up info on GRE employees if I do this for him. Ro, I'm on my way. You, my friend, are a suicidal moron. Luan.
nearby. There are rumors about secret Rose calling. already. Waiting for you, Matt Pillars. Something's up. These uniforms aren't warm enough. Used to think there was nothing worse than the infected. Today, I'm not so sure. Renegade. Bit of electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Well, ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up, then... Oh, fuck me. It's row. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for. Just leave it. Get out now. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Leon. Leon. Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro. I would think if it was nighttime, it wouldn't be these big guys in there. I was wrong.
Inhibitor container detected.
Bro, I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. Leon? That's what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blackout. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Relax, Leon. You can give it to her yourself. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Rob. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men.
Chris? I'm here. The power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. I think I restored the power. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work.
All right. I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the 8th floor. And this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the support button. I'll see you guys in the next video.